Hello, good morning, welcome to this week's Thrive in Five, a tip I can impart to you in five minutes or less that will take you five minutes or less to kind of think about, contemplate or put into action. And this week is inspired uh, by a, an incident that my partner had in the doctors a couple of weeks ago. She went down there to have a, a standard test done and she's going to be 47 on Monday week on the 30th. And the nurse said to her, wow, it's amazing that you're not on any medication. Most women of your age are. And Antonia was really struck by this, as am I, uh, and thought, what a strange thing for us. It sounds like a really strange thing to say. I mean, 47 is not old, um, certainly not a sort of age we're starting to think about medication. And it really got us thinking that is that, you know, this nurse obviously sees <clears throat> hundreds of people across a week coming into her practice. And obviously lots of them, lots of them are on medication. It really, really sort of struck us as, God, what a, a kind of testimony to, to the state of our health. And what I want to talk about this week is about prevention, not cure. So how can you avoid medication or avoid health issues for as long as you possibly can? You know, that whole idea of health span, not lifespan, really staying well and staying healthy for as long as you can. And there are six areas of health I think we should focus on to do this. And we call these the six signals. They are sleep, mental health, energy, body composition, digestive health and fitness. And there is a ton of content that we've put out about those six signals. If you go onto our website, bodyshopperformance.com, and then you go onto the menu, which is on the top right, and there'll be a search bar there. And if you put in sleep or mental health or energy or any of those other signals, you can pull out a ton of content uh, on how to, to improve and optimize and ultimately stay well for as long as you possibly can. But the main essence of this message is simply to start thinking about prevention rather than cure. Rather than looking for <clears throat> for issues to, to solve, try and avoid them happening in the first place. Now you can marry this into the workplace as well. If you run a team or run a business, look at implementing some preventative measures to keep your workforce well, as well as yourself on a personal level. And if we make that our main focus, to stay well for as long as we can, I think we're all going to enjoy longer, happier, more productive and fruitful lives, and ultimately have the energy to do all the things we want to do in life. So simple little message, prevention rather than cure. What changes can you make today and ongoing to ensure that you stay really fit and well or to improve your fitness and your overall well-being so ultimately you get more out of life. That's it for me. As you can see, I'm sort of dazzled by the sun. I'm here on holiday taking a week off to fully recharge, um, apart from jumping on to do my weekly uh, call with you, which I don't mind doing, and of course to get some vitamin D and just enjoy this Greek island of Samos. I'll talk to you next week. All the best for now.